Normally, embroidery is a rather sedate craft, not for Majda Bilhadi. As a Palestinian, he's seen war and its effect on people. As an artist, he has turned his attention to others affected by war, embroidering images of the war in Syria. Embroidery is a traditional Palestinian craft, and Abdul Hadi is passionate about the Palestinian cause. For him and many other artists, the newly opened Waldorf Hotel by the underground artist Banksy makes a mockery of the Palestinian cause. Honestly, I like the aesthetics of Banksy. I like, I like sometimes, his, well, most of the times, to be honest, like his comments are really spot on. But I find his work here more problematic because he's, he's not fully aware of the context. Like he does, it, it shows in his work. He, maybe he's a nice guy, maybe not. But like the way he works with the, with the, like with the material here, the visual material here, it's, he, he hasn't done enough research, to be honest. And in the same time, like the pillow fight, it can be funny for, for someone coming for a visit here. But I don't think Palestinians find it funny. The hotel's already an internationally recognized landmark. And despite the fact that some Palestinians are very angry about what Banksy has done, there are others who say the hotel is making a much wider point. 2017 marks 100 years since the Balfour Declaration, in which the British promised the Jewish people a home in Palestine. Colonial Britain was, once again, shaping the future of another country it occupied. The hotel was opened to mark the centenary. Jabal Khadr is the Dean of Research at Bethlehem University. For him, the hotel makes a bigger point about colonialism. The fact that people are not associating the occupation with the history of, of British colonialism in, in, in uh, uh, Mandate Palestine is kind of part of that national amnesia and, and part of a discourse among Palestinians that they need to have about really the origins of the problem, that it didn't really originate in 1948, but it harkens back to 1917 and even before. Banksy's art has now become a part of Bethlehem, and the modern now mixes with the ancient and is part of this biblical city. Residents at the hotel will leave having stayed in rooms with millions of dollars of art surrounding them. Around the corner, Palestinians live in a refugee camp, unable to go back to their homes, surrounded by art that makes no money, but is born out of struggle. It hardly gets any mention, while the Waldorf Hotel basks in international attention. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem.